Okay, welcome to another video here. Today I am doing the coils, the ignition coils. So here it is. Um, these are going for around $78 a pop at AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts. And or I don't know if it's Advanced Auto Parts or Advanced right now, I can't, I'm, I'm embarrassed, but I think it's Advanced Auto Parts. Uh, anyway, they're going for $78 a pop. Um, that is for the genuine motorcraft ones. These are aftermarket, but as you can see by looking at this, I mean, it is, uh, it is spot on to this one. So here is the one that the original one from the Lincoln can't really see in there what's going on, but okay. So, you know, it's legit. You see the Ford stuff on there. This one, of course, doesn't have any of that. So I've replaced only one so far. There's like this gunk in here. Let me get back to the price. So $78 per coil at AutoZone or any discount auto parts store. And here, this whole set, I got six of them for $78 through um, AutoZone. And I'm going to put the link of what the manufacturer is in the description. But what I'm going to do is see right now, I just did one, only one. The car is kind of uh, lurching a bit, surging when you're driving. It's not, in my opinion, it's not the transmission. I could be wrong. So I just replaced this one. I'm going to go and work my way back. I'm going to label each one. But I'm going to crank this thing up and see what happens when I crank it up. Because I need to get to some other tools anyway that are blocked over here. And I'm gonna see what happens when I, uh, how it works. Let's see how it cranks up. Actually, just stick with me. Just see what happens when I go to crank it up. Just about to hit about 340 miles away from 80,000 miles. All right, cranks right up. I need right now is an OBD2 tester. Unsuccessful. I'm going to show you the proof right now. Pulled the car out of the garage, but here's what we got. Check engine light is still on, so just going to have to take this coil out. You get what you pay for, so I'm just going to return the coils. I already had a bad feeling about them anyway, so I'm just going to return them and uh, get what I really need to have for this car. So it looks like I'll be paying closer to $500 rather than, well, I, for half the price I can get better coils. Okay, put the new coil back. Uh-oh. Not good. This is the old coil here. I will say this, the car is running better. Wow. Well. Well, this situation just keeps getting better. I now have, if you can see, a wrench at the bottom. It's saying C manual. And I've got the check engine light still here. And, uh, you can see what how many miles I've driven but yeah it's really rough right now I mean the the surging and the lurching and all that stuff has has ceased but obviously that cylinder is misfiring completely now it's not even working so I'm gonna just give in here and go and get a boot I mean a uh, not a boot but a another ignition coil and see if that does the trick okay I am here once again hoping I can put an end to this nightmare by at least just switching out the one coil because things are definitely not good so but with Duralast they have a limited lifetime warranty and the way that works it pretty much means as long as nothing crazy happens whenever these coils go bad all this box for just this little coil anyway once again looks like a perfect fit 
So yeah, let's get this thing in here. There's no gunk in the boot like the other one. I'll have to show you that again. Actually, I can show you now. See that? This is in, I didn't even open the other boxes, but these are the, the boots. And it's not what you think it is. It's not like lubricant or anything. It's like something dry, because I already tried to get it out of there. So yeah, not impressed. So anyway, here we go again. Hopefully in the next five minutes or so, I'll have this thing working right. We shall see. All right, now this may not fix the whole problem, but just like that, I've got, um, I cranked it up the first time. The wrench went away, but the check engine light was there. Turned it off after running it for about two minutes. Turned it back on, boom. No check engine light and no wrench. So now, I'm gonna take it for a spin here and see how it runs. Test drive went well. Starts right up. No check engine light. Didn't have to clear it or anything with a tester or a scanner. So, what I'm gonna do from here is um, I'm just gonna go through all the coils and replace them one by one. The car still has a little bit of that jerk to it here and there, but it's not quite as bad. So I know that I'm on the right path. So I'm just gonna replace them and then take it from there. So there you have it. It looks like I will have to go through each and every coil and replace them in order to get the vehicle riding perfectly smooth again, which is no problem with me. At least I know that I am on the right track and that I can never ever trust a dealership to give me even a diagnosis ever again. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that I'm having to go through this right now at 79,000 miles. And you know, some people may be thinking big deal, 79,000 miles is a lot of miles, but um, usually I don't have to mess with this kind of stuff until, you know, over a hundred thousand miles. But it's done now. I know what I'm dealing with with this vehicle. I know that I'm gonna have to stay on top of the routine maintenance and, and everything else. But don't ever let anyone tell you that a surging, lurching, jerking, uh, you know, any, any type of jerking or anything like that with the, the transmission or when you're driving, like the shifting funny, don't automatically just assume that it's your transmission. You have to check everything else out because I have been in this situation before and it, all it was was the, the ignition coils that time as well. It was with a Lincoln and, and a new set of spark plugs. That's all it took was basically a tune-up. So uh, even though the ignition coils aren't part of a tune-up, it's, it's mainly just the spark plugs and other stuff like, you know, just the tune-up type stuff. But this is something that I'm, I'm very relieved to know that I'm not gonna have to do a, a transmission. I, I knew that anyway, but now I know for sure after realizing that these guys were going to attempt to extract over $4,000 from me over a job that would have taken anywhere from 80 to $500 to fix. And now it's, I've already got $65 invested in it. So I have five more to go and the problem will be fixed. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions or comments about this, please, I'm listening, I'm, I'm all open for it. I will keep you guys posted and let you know if replacing all of these coils completely eradicates my problem. <laughs>
This time I was having some, so many issues getting the boot out. I actually used a, that rope there and just hooked it right around here, you know, just wrapped it around and poop, just pulled it right out. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what I've done wrong here. Um, I actually didn't even check the other side where my dad did those. I just did this side. So I keep working over here, but I think uh, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna go back and check his work because something is terribly wrong here and it's driving me crazy and it's embarrassing when I'm driving people around. All right, there you have it. It cranked up like a dream. Here's the odometer reading. But let's see what happens when we get down the road because when you cold crank, that's what's making this thing so tricky is like when it's running cold, it's not as bad. So I guess we're just gonna find out as we keep driving here and see what's going on. I'm focusing on the RPMs too. It looks like it's a little, a little shaky there. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it. 